Why are Canadian doctors dying in record numbers? The Washington Standard ran a story Monday headlined, Dr. William Mackus proves Canadian doctor deaths following COVID shot have more than doubled to 80. Dr. Mackus sent the Canadian Medical Association, CMA, a thought-provoking letter last month notifying the organization about 32 doctors who've died suddenly and unexpectedly since the injections came out. Recently, with additional sleuthing, he discovered even more such deaths and on Friday, October 14th, sent an updated letter notifying the CMA the body count now is up to a staggering 80 dead doctors, with the vast majority being young ones. According to Dr. Mackus, mortality rates in Canadian doctors, especially younger doctors, has not only shot through the roof, but is on its way to the moon. Cited in the story is the following. Our preliminary analysis of this extensive data suggests that Canadian doctor deaths under age 50 in 2022 will be twofold higher when compared to the 2019-2020 average. Shockingly, Canadian doctor deaths under age 40 are already fivefold higher in 2022 when compared to the 2019-2022 average, and Canadian doctor deaths under age 40 are eightfold higher when compared to the 2019-2020 average. So far, the CMA has done a great job of ignoring Dr. Mackus's letters. Maybe they put Dr. Mackus on a waiting list. And just like Canadian patients waiting to see specialists, they'll eventually call him when his turn comes up sometime in 2025. Maybe it's time these doctors ditched their bedside manners, and banded together. In fact, just a small group of them could potentially pressure the CMA to respond, which would in turn more than likely result in the CMA involving Health Canada and assorted other government agencies. Who knows? Maybe our very own Prime Minister might take a couple of months out of his busy schedule to address the issues of these doctors, given they're more than likely liberal voters. Based on what I've witnessed over the past two and a half years, doctors, the cavalry ain't coming. So stand up for yourselves and demand answers as to why members of your profession are dying in such alarming numbers. Given the age of technology we're living in, it's easy to get connected with fellow doctors. Using email or some other outreach tool, you could send an invite to other CMA members inviting them to join you in a private Zoom meeting. In this venue, you could openly discuss the excess mortality problem among healthcare professionals in Canada, and more importantly, how to solve it. The good news is that you don't need every doctor from coast to coast. In fact, a couple of dozen motivated doctors and their supporters could lead to a sea change across Canada. Now, I realize that one of the reasons many of you good doctors have not spoken up to date is because you're afraid of losing your license. Fair enough. You've toiled all your life for it, and asking you to risk it is easier said than done. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm thinking that so long as you don't speculate on the underlying cause of the excess deaths, because who knows what that could be, you're home free. The question is above your pay grade. You're not investigators. That's what the CMA and the government bureaucrats are there for. All you're demanding is that the CMA investigate and issue a formal report explaining why there are so many access doctor deaths of your fellow colleagues over the past two years. They can't cancel you for that. Haven't you heard? You're frontline heroes. Anyway, Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please post any comments you have in the comment section. You can also follow me on my Rumble on my Locals account. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.